Hi everybody, my name is Brad Zdrike and this is the one shot skimmer I've been talking about for about the past week on Lake State Fishing, a ice fishing form I've been on. Um, so this is just the, the simple design of it and we'll go through just the construction of it basically right now. This bottom is made out of what's called a high density polyethylene. It's basically um, very durable plastic. It's eighth inch thick and as you can see here we have a lot of holes popped in there. We did that because we wanted to drain as much water out as fast as possible. Otherwise, you know, the point of this is just to get most of the slush out in one or two skims. So we're actually picking up a lot of water at the same time. So we want to drain it out as fast as possible. So that's the bottom construction. Then we move up to the brackets here. Nice heavy duty brackets. These are never gonna break on you. Then we go up to what we like to call the connecting rods that's made out of 18 inches of tube steel, powder coated. And then we move up to the handle, which is also tube steel and some flat steel, powder coated as well, so this is never gonna rust on you or break down on you. Solid construction, very durable. At the same time, very portable. You can see how easily this would slide into a bucket. Um, this is the eight inch model. We do plan on making a six, eight, and 10 inch model. Uh, for those 10 inch holes where you get a lot of slush in there, this would be really valuable. And the other thing is too, I know a lot of guys like to do a lot of hole popping now with the GPS where you can read the contours of the lakes. You want to hit that break line. Well, this is a perfect thing if you're popping a lot of holes for tip up fishing or just roaming around perch fishing, bluegill fishing, whatever. It really helps speed up the process of cleaning out the hole. Um, so now we'll go into a little bit of operation. It's pretty pretty easy to explain. You turn it vertical, get that thin profile down through the slush. Once you get below the slush, we turn and pick up. So pretty simple. Now we'll demonstrate on a couple holes we have here. Um, the other thing too, if this would ever start to freeze up on you, you always knock it on your boot. And like I said, this is that high density polyethylene. So it's never going to break anything. We tested it in below zero conditions. It hasn't broke at all. It held up to anything. We kick it on, you hit it with a piece of steel. It's not going to break. Let's go down to the hole here. You know, when I used to skim out a hole, I was careful not to kick a lot of slush in it. Now, it doesn't matter. You just get that as clean as you want around the hole, make room for your Vexilar or whatever else you might have there. And then we go down in the hole, through the slush, in that vertical position. Then we turn to the horizontal. Then you can see that whole column of slush come up just like that. There we go, pretty darn clean hole. If you wanna finish it out just a little bit more, if there's anything else you don't want in there, just simple as that. Move on to the next one. Again, clean it out all around there. Get it as clean as you want. Down through the slush in the vertical position. Once you're through it, turn it to horizontal. Now you can see it picks up easily. Bring that column of slush out. There you go. You can see how quick of operation that is there and I was kind of explaining how to do it um, so it took a little bit longer. But you know, after a half day of use with this thing, you'll be zipping right along, keeping up with the auger and keeping the holes clean as you, as you go around and pop as many holes as you want. Um, we're not selling these yet, but we do we do foresee probably the middle of February of 2012 we'll start selling these. Um, we'd like to get a little idea of how many people have interest in these, so if you could um, email me at strikeb at gmail.com or my username on Lake State Fishing is strikeb. Um, send me a PM on there or just email me at, at the strikeb uh, at gmail.com account. Um, we'll get an idea of how many people are interested in these so we know how many to produce right away. As far as price range goes, we're thinking right around the $30 range. There's a couple different skimmers out there like the, the stovepipe model I'm sure you guys have maybe seen or the, the PVC type model. Um, I know some of those can get over the $30, $40 range. I'm trying to keep, keep this in the competitive price range but at the same time it's a very good product. Um, very portable, durable and um, we're just looking to see if we can expand on this design at all, but right now this is what we're going with. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the videos today. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Other than that, have fun fishing this year, and we'll talk to you later.